Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to be installing these for the first time, trying not to uh, mess this up too badly, and I'm recording it so that I can learn from my own mistakes and also hopefully maybe help someone else who's going to be doing the same thing. So the first thing to do is to take out this feeder can, and actually let's spray them with uh, some sugar water here, and this will keep them from flying around too much because they'll be too busy uh, licking the sugar off of themselves. And I also have my smoker back here if I need it. So the queen is kept here in this little queen cage. I'm gonna shake the bees off there for a bit. And so she has, she's stuck in here with a cork. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. I have a little eyelet screw to help me grab the cork. Then I'm just going to replace it with a marshmallow. And I'm going to hold it so that the opening is facing down because she is less likely to go down and I don't want her to escape. Because that would cost $40. So I have the cork out and I'm pushing uh, this marshmallow up into here. And hopefully she will chew through this in a day or so, and if not, I'll come and uh, open it again for her. And now I'm just going to put her along the side of a frame here. And I want to make sure that The mesh is accessible to the bees because they need to take care of her while she's stuck in there. I'm going to shake the bees down into here. Get as many out as I can. And I'm going to set the rest off to the side so they can make their way in there. Now I suppose ideally I might have removed a frame or two so that I could actually get them inside. Because at the moment I don't want to put the cover on there because then I'm going to crush a bunch of them. So... <laughs> May I just give this a moment for them to get in there? At least they're not flying all around. They seem to be pretty happy uh, chilling on top of there. Spray the frames a bit, maybe, to get them down in there. It's pretty warm out, so I'm not too worried about getting them wet. And I already have a feeder frame in there loaded with 1-to-1 uh, one -one 
uh, sucrose to water. It's a light syrup mix. So I may just uh, try to get the top on here and maybe smoke them a bit to get them down. Fill my smoker. Seems to be running a little bit low on smoke. So not so useful at the moment. Try to just coax them down in there. Brush the bees off the edge here. You can actually see uh, them fanning a little bit, which is uh, to spread uh, their pheromones so that other bees know that they're at their hive. They've already found this feeder frame. I had originally planned to actually place the box on top of here and then put a, another box, an empty box over it and leave the leave the bee box in there overnight. Uh, forgetting that I did not have another uh, deep box, so that wasn't an option for me, so I'm doing it this way instead. And just being patient here. Very slowly lowering this so that they know to get out of the way. And Now I can actually put this feeder um, back on top here. It's actually it's actually quite full still. And I do have an empty medium box that I will put on top of there. And I know that it's upside down and there's mesh on top of it. Um, I'll explain why in another video, but for now, this is just going on top of here. Now I've heard that it's a, a good idea to stuff that entrance, there's an entrance reducer in here, uh, to stuff that little entrance with fresh grass so that they stay inside for about an hour until they have a chance to remove the grass, but since there are a bunch of bees outside the box right now, I don't want to trap those guys outside, so I will not be putting the grass in the entrance. And instead, I will just put this on, and I will call that good.